I don't know about you, but there's many times in my life where I feel like I've fallen short, I don't have enough faith, I don't trust enough, I let God down, and then I read in scripture where the disciples did the same thing, and it doesn't make me better, but I at least feel a little better. I ran across the story today that I want to share with you. Where's my cup? In your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. I was reading in Mark, it's the eighth chapter. Listen to what it says. There's a big crowd of people. They've been with Jesus and the disciples for some time. And Jesus says, he called the disciples and said, hey, I have compassion on these people. They've already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry, they'll collapse on the way because some of them have come a long distance. So he's setting this up for the disciples to show their faith because here's what's happened. Two chapters earlier in the sixth chapter, Jesus basically said the same thing to him and said, hey, do we have anything to eat? And there were five loaves of bread. There were two fish. And if you'll remember the story, he broke it, blessed it. They fed 5,000. So here's Jesus. Sometime later, we don't know exactly how long. And he's asking the disciples the same thing. What, what should we do? What are we going to do? And the, here's what the disciples say. But where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? He just did the incredible miracle of feeding 5,000 some days earlier, and they're still asking the same question. Well, Jesus says, how many loaves do you have? They find out there's seven loaves and a few small fish. So what does Jesus do? He feeds 4,000 more. What were the disciples thinking? We can read this scripture and go, disciples, you have no faith? And then I realize I do the same thing probably every day. God has blessed me incredibly. He's always taken care of me. He's always provided all my needs. But yet, what do we do so many times? We worry. We're not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. We let all those things get in our minds, get in our hearts, and we don't trust like we need to. Let's remember back. Let's think back to what all God's done in our lives today and let that strengthen our faith. Let that build our trust today in what he wants to do for you right now and in the days ahead. Let's do better than the disciples did that day. Hey, thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration and we'll see you next time.